Milwaukee about 30 years ago got a big pot of federal money for a bus only highway, only we didn't want a bus only highway. They spent 25 years trying to find a way to spend all this federal money because they didn't want to lose it. And they finally came up with the streetcar. The hop, as it will be known, has been a controversial project. Construction costs are estimated at $128 million, and the project has been a high priority for Mayor Tom Barrett. The federal government is paying a lot of dollars for this. It's really a poor public policy decision that's driven by the fact that we had federal money because everybody knows federal money is free, so let's use it. It's about economic development, and I think that's, that's what people have to realize. The major argument for the streetcar Private developers will want to put up uh, new buildings, residences, businesses along the streetcar is really inaccurate and untrue. We talk to the 15 top developers, people who have built properties or renovated properties along the streetcar, and 14 of them told us that the streetcar was not a motivation for development. It's federal money that determined why we have the streetcar. It's also federal money that determined, at least in part, where the streetcar lines go. Decades ago, the federal government also gave the Milwaukee area a bunch of money for a downtown transit center. Milwaukee County eventually decided to tear down the transit center, only they would have had to have paid the federal government back over $8 million unless there was an ongoing transportation function tied to that land. So they decided to build the streetcar out to the location where the downtown transit center used to be. So right now, the streetcar tracks dead end. They're the tracks to nowhere. The hell with the streetcar. I personally feel like a bus could do the same thing. Polls show that the streetcar is not that popular. To me, it is the biggest waste of tax dollars I've, I've ever seen. This is a tiny project with astronomical costs. They're having to spend more money than they expected, and they're getting less than they expected. It's just a nuisance. There's a lot of congestion there that wasn't there before. It's slow. You obviously never want to be behind it. The local paper actually had a little competition using their own reporters. And they started everybody at the end of the streetcar line and asked everybody to take a different mode of transportation down to the public market. The person on the streetcar got there long after everybody else. The vast majority of Milwaukeeans never use this. It doesn't go into most neighborhoods. I have witnessed countless times where there isn't a single rider on the hop. This money could have been used in such a better way. There are civil society solutions, and a good example is the Joseph Project. In the outskirts of Milwaukee County, there are a lot of great paying jobs. They've got these available positions and can't fill them. Well, in Milwaukee County, we've got a lot of great people who really want to work and don't have the wherewithal or the resources to get to those jobs in those outlying areas. But yet we can find $128 million to keep a hop going for two miles. When we discovered the problem was really transportation, the light bulb went off. We've got church vans. Let's use the church vans to get people to and from work. After all, the vans are sitting idle all week long. Now we're up to about eight vehicles from donors. And we're running about 3,000 miles a day getting people to and from work. Well, ironically, I really don't know who the hop is serving. The transportation that we provide, people are putting food on their table. They're buying clothes for their children. We're transforming their lives. Not only are we creating taxpayers, we're saving taxpayers. Somebody's spending a whole lot of governmental money and somebody is doing it on a shoestring budget. The problem with all this federal grant money is that local policymakers decide on new projects and investments based on the fact that they have money rather than whether or not the projects make sense or are a good use of money. I think of the streetcar as really as a slow motion boondoggle and not just because of the speed of it. This is a 19th century technology that has a 21st century price tag. We still have to pay for operating expenses for this thing ongoing, and the city never ordered the fair collection devices, so they can't even collect money. And they think that the way that they're going to solve the problem is by getting more federal money paid by federal taxpayers to make it even bigger. 
only the federal government won't give them the money that they need to expand it. Local taxpayers don't really want to see their money used for the streetcar either. So it looks like we're stuck with a streetcar that only runs two miles and isn't really fully funded. The prime beneficiaries of the federal grant system are the politicians who are able to brag about them when they bring home the federal money. It's an illogical system that just perpetuates itself and wastes money year after year after year.